Hello everyone, welcome to Science in a Cup. We have a diffraction setup in our lab. Diffraction setup meaning there is a laser source, a diffraction grating and a screen. So we can see the diffraction pattern in the screen but the laser is generating speckles. The bright central spot. Speckles are random diffuse patterns of light which may occur due to dust deposition in partially reflecting mirror and optics. So we need to clean it. So let's open it. Helium neon laser is a gas type of laser. The gain medium consists of 10 is to 1 ratio of helium and neon. The total pressure inside the quartz glass tube is around 1 torr. This gas laser is electrically pumped using high voltage DC power source. Due to uh, electrical discharge or electrical pumping, helium atoms get excited. The helium atoms collides with some neon atom transferring energy to it such that it emits 632.8 nanometer wavelength. This is a diagram of helium neon laser. It has two mirrors. One is of very high reflectivity of 99% or more and another is of low reflectivity. It has cathode and anode where the high voltage DC is supplied. Inside the chamber there is 10 is to 1 ratio of helium and neon. The whole glass tube is made up of quartz glass that is because to absorb the infrared radiation which it emits. So inside the laser there is the light goes to and fro between the mirror light meaning the 632.8 nanometer and hence stimulated emission occurs because the light goes to and fro between the mirrors. So this is the basic construction of helium neon laser which we are seeing here and also we have seen in the experiment. So let us explain how it works. Here you have seen that we have this cathode and the anode. So this cathode and the anode produces electrical discharge. We give high voltage DC in the tube kilovolt range. So what happens because this when there is a high voltage discharge electrons are generated which collide with the helium atoms. Now helium atoms when excited goes to these two energy levels or two states one is 21s0 and 23s1 these two states are called metastable states because the helium atoms remains longer time in these two energy levels before coming to the ground state now what happens laser helium neon laser tube it is a gas mixture of 10 parts helium and 1 part neon so the excited helium atoms actually collide with the neon atoms. When it collides with the neon atom, the neon atom is excited to two states of 5s and 4s. Once again, the neon atom collides with the helium atom, which is energized and the neon, neon atom gets energized itself and goes to these two states of 5s and 4s. Now, this 5s and 4s are the metastable states, meaning that neon atoms remains for a longer time in this energy level or these energy states. But you need to know nothing can remain in this energy states for a longer time and it needs to decay. So it decays to its ground state by going through these states and then finally it decays. When the neon atom loses energy and goes from 5s energy state to 4p energy states, it releases radiation of 3.39 micrometer which is in the infrared radiation range. When neon atom loses energy and goes down from 4s state to 3p state, it releases radiation of 1.15 micrometer radiation or wavelength which is in the infrared region. But when the neon atom loses its energy by going from 5s state to 3p state, it releases 632.8 nanometer of visible wavelength which is in the red region. So 1.15 micrometer and 3.39 micrometer wavelength radiation is absorbed. But 632.8 nanometer it goes to and fro, gets reflected back and forth in the mirror and, there, and spontaneous and stimulated emission occurs. Now what happens, there is more stimulated emission, hence we can see red light coming out from the laser cavity. So from this state, it does first radiated transition and we don't see any significant amount of radiation and that's it. So what we need to remember is simple like helium atom gets excited by the electrical discharge. 
then there is resonance energy transfer to the neon atoms the neon atoms goes from 5s state to the 3p state and emits a 632.8 nanometer wavelength this 632.8 nanometer wavelength goes back and forth in the laser cavity and causing stimulated emission and because there is stimulated emission then there is more gain than loss and hence we can see laser light coming out from the laser cavity so the helium neon laser is also actually called four level laser system and that is what you need to know about the helium neon laser so that is for today if you like the video please like share and subscribe and press the bell icon and if you have any suggestion please mention below in the comment section because we really like to read your comments and improve that's for today Please subscribe, please press the bell icon. Thank you.